Hey, beautiful soul, beautiful sunshine here with the R Holistic Healer, aka Sonia B. I'm sorry, just trying to see how much I got left. AKA Sonia B. Um, I'm back with another prophetic message, and I found this one very interesting. <laughs> Two things actually happened to me before I started this video. One, as I was making sure my phone was centered right, and I always usually try to do a testing just to make sure the sound is is not too loud um, and just make sure I covered the background in regards to my kids or whatever the case may be. So funny thing, um, the message prior to this one, I did mention to you about uh, devices kind of doing their own thing or whatever. Be mindful of that because right before I started this video, when I did a testing video, before I was meant to start the other video, um, my phone actually took a picture of me by itself. I didn't have my phone on the timer and nor did I push a button because I just have it standing up, you know, propped up against something. So um, that happened. And then also, of course, we also know that sometimes the uh, screensavers on a computer, sometimes they kind of come up by themselves or whatever. But that also popped up as well as a notification that was reminding me of, yes, that's what's happening here <laughs> as a reminder. So keep that in mind. I just wanted to let you guys know that in case you see it happening. I know in the dream I mentioned that the radio kind of came on and just played uh, three times by itself. So just be mindful of it happening in any, any in events of three excuse me <laughs> and for those of you who are new to my channel i'm sorry i just want to say welcome and for those of you who are returning back i want to say welcome back and for those of you who don't know i always use the state that these energies could be happening to you right now and if they're not happening to you right now they could be happening to you next week or two weeks out or within a new future what i consider probably like a month or so three weeks to a month or whatever is what i may consider like near future unless i have like a specific time or a specific date on something you know other than that i can't give you dates i can't give you times but just know that these energies are coming and if it does not resonate with you at this present moment does not mean that it may not necessarily resonate with you you know within like next week two weeks three weeks or a month from now so keep that in mind as well um and if it's not happening to you, it could be happening to someone, excuse me, if it's not happening to you, it could be happening to someone that's close to you, that's around you, that's within your vicinity. So anyway, let's get right into the message. Um, I just want to say, I just got back in the house. I had to run a couple of errands. And um, let me just say this. I don't watch the news, so therefore I don't know what's really going on. Like I said, when I mentioned about, um, I heard like a, some sort of explosion not explosion explosion like where there's metal shrapnels coming out that type of explosion but like a transformer or some type of generator like exploding like shutting off or do you know how when they shut off or they cut off and it just goes boom that's what i heard so anyway but with all that being said i'm just i don't even know why i was saying that i feel like i was being the guy divinely got it to say that again to remind you guys so be mindful of that too guys so i don't know what i'm hearing is just make sure that you have like candles or flashlights around in your house just in case in the event of um that should happen is what i'm hearing so keep that in mind too i didn't mention that in the other video but i mentioned it to you now and maybe that's why divine divine spirit of light is bringing it to my attention now and i let me say this again for those of you who are new to my channel i just want you to understand and know that um we are in mercury retrograde and i usually feel the energies before and i usually feel the energies after so if you hear me get a little tongue twisted please try not to be judgmental um not that I'm worried about it because I'm going to be authentically myself because that's just who I am and I can't help what planets shift and shape, you know, shift, you know, to the point that it kind of affects me. You know, if this was information that they would have taught people in school, people will be quite aware of the things and how these different planetary shifts affect people. Well, when it says to know thyself, it's important to know thyself. And that's one thing that I know about myself, that when Mercury retrograde comes in, you know, that it tends to alter. I found myself tripping over my words or missaying a word or whatever. But not only that, but even outside of Mercury retrograde, just know that that's the Georgia peach in me as well, which is so funny because I'm wearing like a peach shirt today. But anyway, <laughs> that's also the Georgia peach in me as well, too, that, you know, we talk fast, you know, and and, you know, sometimes we trip over our words because we are talking so fast. So I know sometimes that I am speaking fast and I know that I have to remind myself to, to 
say things a little slower. So sometimes I can't help that because I realize, you know, not only that, but I am an Aquarius too. And Aquarius is like that electrifying type energy. So sometimes, you know, it's like my presence can be, can feel like a little intimidated to some people. And it's not like that I'm doing that intentionally. It's just the energy that I carry. So, but anyway, um, and I try, when I see people, when I see people who are actually in my presence and I see them kind of stumbling and, you know, uh, tripping and, you know, uh, <laughs> when it comes time to helping me, when I didn't see them necessarily doing that with the person prior to me, I basically tell them, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Because, again, that's just something that they can't help because, obviously, it's a situation of maybe my energy is throwing them off. And not necessarily saying that my energy is a bad thing because it's not. It's just if you think about electrical energy and how it flows, you know, it's like, shh, shh, it's meant to shock people, wake people up, and so on and so on. So, anyway, if you're on my channel, obviously, you're here for a reason. So, for whatever divine spirit of light has sent you here, obviously, you're here to hear a message that may be possibly pert pertaining to you. Or if not you, someone that's close to you, loved one, family members, or just people within your vicinity or whatever. You may see them going through. I also want to be mindful to, I mean, I also want you guys to be mindful during this time too. Like, I'm noticing like a couple of stories. Again, I don't watch the news, so maybe I could be behind with this. And if I am, that's fine too. But I just wanted to make you aware of the energies that I see that are going on, the intuitive energies that I've been noticing since I was out today. So just be mindful because I know that, boundaries are definitely going to be tested because one thing i'm seeing is like i'm seeing people slowly but surely whereas they were before trying to distance themselves and i guess now once you know i guess if they if they put a mandate in effect saying that you know you don't have to social distance anymore i'm seeing a lot more people are starting to be a little close within the vicinity. I always try to distance myself when I'm out and about and position myself to the point that I'm, I'm still keeping space between myself and someone else. Well, I say all that to say because not only do I have spiritual boundaries, but I also have physical boundaries as well too. And I wanna make sure that I let people know that as well too. So I wanna let you guys be mindful of that as well too. Um, yes, anyway. Yes, okay. Anyway, with all that being said, let's get into the message. <sighs> Last night was an interesting night. <laughs> Let me say that. Um, okay, so I want to make you guys aware. Some of you are going to find yourself experiencing and dealing with the situation to where there are going to be like psychic attack happening, should I say? Like, it's almost like portal doorways. Uh, it's almost like, how can I say it? Because remember I said doorways, windows, mirrors, and all. Well, I didn't tell you mirrors, but windows, mirrors, and doorways, and other little things. Some of the other things I don't quite know about, but I do know the doors, the windows, and mirrors, and stuff like that are doorways. Well, I say all that to say, because in this dream, I saw like a doorway. It was like being breached, like it had been knocked down, and it was like some sort of force that just came in. And it was as if the force was trying to take my dog, in a sense. And it just so happened that I woke up and I was like, I slid the dog out of the way. And I was like, no, you're not going to take her. In other words, I was telling the entity or whatever it was, the energy that you were not going to take my dog or whatever. Because they slid my dog over by the door or whatever in the dream. And it just so happened that um, I felt myself fighting the uh, entity, should I say, force, whatever the energy was. Um, I felt myself fighting it to the point that I guess eventually it left or whatever. But I say all that to say that some of you guys are going to find yourself dealing with um, psychic attacks. So I just want to make you aware of that. Um, so it's very important at this time to make sure you stay spiritually prayed up. But I think it may have a lot to do with this eclipse type energy. Excuse me. I'm not sure if it's this eclipse energy or this retrograde energy, but... I feel like, yeah. Yeah, so be mindful of that. Um, just know that, and it's not only, I'm not sure exactly what energy this is when I say psychic attack. So I'm not sure if this is an entity that was just kind of trying to come and take, take an individual. Well, oh God, let me explain. Okay. Let me calm it down here. That's the energy going. <laughs> okay. 
So some of you are going to find yourself being under a psychic attack. Some is, is going to be a situation of you actually dealing with a psychic attack and you're dealing with this energy that somebody is actually projecting at you for whatever reasons they're projecting it at you. You know, it could be the situation of what I'm hearing is maybe that some people that you let go of, that's their stuff they have to deal with. That's not a matter of, you know, uh, one. And honestly, what I'm hearing is God is just testing you too, just to see that if you're going to allow these individuals to come back into your life, because now they're testing you and you feel like you're feeling these attacks and some of you are going to start thinking, oh, well, did I do the right thing? Don't question yourself. You did the right thing. It's just that divine spirit of light. It's like taking you through an initiation. Once you get rid of something, it's almost like you're being tested to see if you're going to go backwards to to go back to to accepting and doing what it and being around the person that you was asked to get rid of. If that makes sense to you. The other thing is, some of you guys are going to find yourself being is going to find that there's like an energy that's trying to come and actually take you in a sense and I say take you it's almost like take you on this journey and what I'm hearing is it's like because in 2018 for those of you who know uh 2018 it was a big year it was a, a year of big changes for a lot of us and it's like those people are coming those people are almost at the end is what I'm hearing of their journey in a sense and it's like a new set of people is about to go through that same phase that we had to go through. So if you are someone who is like your life is feel like it's being shaken upside down and you don't know what's going on in your life. It's like so much stuff is changing. People are leaving your life and um, you're not sure why and you're just dealing with so much stuff. And, you know, you're going to find yourself uh, experiencing situations where there seem like there's psychic attacks as well, too. Um, so keep this in mind too, um, because again, as I said, people are projecting negative energy at people in some cases. And then in the other cases, it's actually almost like a force that's just coming to take you in a sense and almost take you on that same journey that we had went on in 2018 when it seemed like your life was being turned upside down. So I hope that makes sense. Anyway, so keep that in mind too. And, um... Keep in mind too, and I find it funny too, because right before I played this video, uh, I think the title of it, the, the music is playing, it said, uh, spiritual protection. Thank you, spirit. So divine spirit of light one wants you to make sure that on both cases, both scenarios, whether it's a psychic attack from someone else projecting their negative energy towards you, or whether you're someone that you feel like a force is pushing you in another direction to leave, go, do whatever, and it seems like everything is chaotic for you. So for those of you, put your spiritual protection on and um, call up on the Most High and trust that divine spirit of light is leading you and guiding you because it's just nothing more of learning soul lessons if that kind of makes sense i mean i know i'm sounding so calm and cool and collect when i say that but um i've been there i've done that i know how it feels so i just want to basically say that if you can if it gives you any sort of comfort just knowing that god is leading you and guiding you trust that that's all i can ask you to do because right about now people's faith are really being tested is what i'm hearing in whatever case and scenario. <sighs> okay, so now let's move on to the next message. Okay, some of you are going to find yourself going through deep emotional changes. Deep emotional changes that you're trying to work through. From the past up until now, you just find yourself working through those situations. And, um... Keep that in mind. Know that that's a situation also too that divine spirit of light is also guiding you. And what I'm hearing is, is nothing more than you doing shadow work. Shadow work is nothing more than you getting in tune with your... Know that we have a dark and a light side if you think about the yin and the yang. We all have it. So it said the good cannot exist without the bad. And I don't want to say anything is good or bad. But what I want to say there's dark and there's light. We all have a dark and a light side within us. But it's a matter of healing that darker side so that it doesn't completely run your life but it's more so of balancing it with the light energy if that makes sense if you again if you think about it like the yin and the yang it's fully within balance one is not overshadowing the other it's completely balanced so keep that in mind too for those of you who are going through those changes and 
Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys too, for those of you who are starting businesses or who have started businesses or trying to generate businesses is what I'm saying here on the side or on the side or whether you're doing it full time or whether you're doing it on the side or whatever. Just know that um, luck in regards to your businesses, just know that opportunities is on its way. Just know that sometimes energy has to energy happens energy happens and it's almost like that energy needs to it's if if you think about a snowball it starts with a little snowball and then you keep rolling and you keep rolling and then it gets bigger and bigger and bigger well that's like how the energy works so keep that in mind because it when it says that you know things that are in heaven and they're here on earth it's like it it's manifested in in the ethers before it's manifested here on earth so usually whatever's being seen or shown in the you know the heavenly realms earth realms um at some point in time it's going to be manifested here on earth meaning you will start to see the material possessions from whatever it is uh that you've been working on and so on and so on so please keep hope um just know the energy is picking itself up and another message that i received was when I was talking about earlier, when I said that I went out today and I had to run a couple of errands and I noticed just the energies that was out there and people and personal space and so on and so on. Now is the time to, and I did it, I think the video prior to this one, I talked about being grounded. It's so important to be grounded at this time. So if you guys aren't grounding yourself, it's really important to make sure you stay grounded. You know, and that's stay grounded in whatever way, shape or form that you know how to. And, um... And I don't even know why I'm hearing music, but not that music, but just music. It's important for you guys. You can get grounded through the music too as well. Maybe that's why it's coming up. You guys can ground yourself through music as well too. I think I, actually the card we pulled a few days ago said something about music too. So anyway, keep that in mind too. So that's another way that you guys can take and uh, try to ground your energy. So keep that in mind too. Um, everybody's going to be different. Um... Yes, so keep that in mind. It's so important to ground yourself at this time while trying to achieve uh, the things that you're trying to achieve, whether it's your goals or whether it's building something, whether it's studying for something, just stay grounded. Um, the other thing is the message that I received too was also about uh, eating. Some people are going to start noticing that they're eating less or not even really have an appetite to eat. And there's going to be others who are going to find themselves maybe eating more. So keep that in mind too. Just know that it's not anything that you need to be alarmed about or worried about. And even if you are alarmed or worried about, I'm not going to tell you not to worry about it. But if you feel like you're worried and you're concerned about something, you know, you do what you have to do and do what's best for you. But other than that, that's a part of this process. Excuse me. And it's a part of this journey and the process. Because I can just tell you basically for myself um yeah in 2018 it's like not right away but i want to say probably like february february march it's like i didn't even have an appetite to eat and 2018 was the start of that journey and it's like i didn't even have an appetite to eat when i say eat it's like my kids was like mom you need to eat I was like, I'm not hungry, I'm not hungry, I'm not hungry. It was just like, I was just, I just wasn't hungry, you know? So they was just trying to make sure that I ate because they know that in the past, you know, let's just say if it's hot outside and, you know, your blood sugar is a little low, whatever the case may be, you know, you're susceptible to, you're possibly fainting or whatever. You know, I've done that a couple of times in my life, you know, but I have learned, you know, that um, what I needed to do in order to better myself. But I say all that to say, it wasn't that scenario. It wasn't that case. It's just that I really did not hit, uh, feel like eating. Um, I didn't have an appetite to eat. But anyway, so those are the end of the messages. Oh, well, actually, let me repeat this one again at the beginning. So keep in mind again, guys, you may find yourself noticing that devices are turning on or turning off by themselves. Keep that in mind too. I just wanted to bring that to your attention again pull two decks of cards real quick and ask what messages divine spirit of light what message divine spirit of light do you have for the collective what do you want them to know 
And for those of you guys, I just want to let you know that I'm not a tarot card reader, as I said before, but I am just pulling divinely guided messages that, you know, you may see for yourself what, um, maybe what you need to hear at this time. Inspirational messages. Divine Spirit, like what messages do you have for the collective? For those who are watching my channel, what message do you have for them? That is a pure white light and pure unconditional love. What message do you have that is for them? That is a pure white light and pure unconditional love. Divine Spirit, I'm just gonna read the message from the book, y'all. What message do you want the collective to know that is a pure white light and pure unconditional love at this time? What message do they need to know that will give them hope, that will give them faith to let them know that everything will be okay? What message do you have for the collective to the spirit of light? Does the divine spirit of light, the ancestors, the way shores, the spirit guides of the ethers, and the ascended masters of the universe? Stag. Trust and thrive. Oh, sorry. Bear with me, y'all, because these messages are set up like how they were, kind of like in that other book. They're sectioned off with different. According to categories. Anyway. The message, trust and thrive. Come alive and thrive. Stand in your light and your glory with grace and mischief. The stag card brings a graceful and powerful medicine into your life. In the Celtic tradition, the stag with, its, with his crown of antlers is known as the king of the forest and is to, torum, totem excuse me, that brings protection in challenging times. In Native American traditions, he is great, greatly loved for stags and deers have provided food for the people and materials that have allowed them to create medicine items such as drums, rattles, and smudging fans. Although the stag has been hunted in the past and still is, he has strength and dignity and poise. When this card arises, he can, it can also represent fertility and sexuality, maybe an opportunity to explore your sexual side with your spiritual integrity supports you on that journey so um it also says you have the opportunity to thrive trust in all that you have to offer all your gifts strengths and power and make the most of it you were born to lead and this can only become reality when you are willing to put yourself in that position Stag's energy all allows you to feel safe because the antlers keep away anything that could interfere with your integrity and presence. And we talked about that too. I said, I noticed the energy where people were, you know, just too close. And, you know, I was trying to position myself to where that they weren't too close. You know, like, back up, back up. You're a little too close. Stag's energy allows you to feel, this, to feel safe because the antlers, again, keeps away anything that could interfere with your integrity intelligence excuse me and presence and their strength gives you the power to a leg in your thinking uh you are being encouraged to retain your dignity and to be proud of who you are and all that you accomplish this in turn will give you even more power to thrive onward and upward so keep that in mind, y'all. Think about them antlers. 
That's your spiritual protection. And know that. All right, we're gonna pull. Actually, before I pull another card, I just wanted to let you know that these cards came out before I went to shuffle, and I felt like Divine Spirit of Light wanted me to look at those cards before I put them back. So I, and I felt like because it resonates with the, excuse me, it resonates with the prophetic message that I received. So this first one says, Our Higher Self. Our higher self sometimes referred to us as an inner self, our soul, that that's very wise, part of ourselves, that is totally loving and supportive and always working with us for a greater and higher good by sub subtly guiding us and providing us with intuitive and deep insight, whether we choose to acknowledge and act on this inner wisdom or ignore it. So that's what I was just saying. Like when I was at the store, I was just noticing just the energy, you know, that was going on. And actually, there was actually something else that happened to me in the store. I was like, whew. Anyway, so I just noticed the presence of the energy. I was just like, oh, they just busy today. Just really busy. You know, not judging the people, but I'm just, ju uh, it was more so of just that intuitive knowing of the energy that was around, that was taking place. And just, it's almost like, it was deceitful, it wasn't sincere, and it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't authentic. Let me say that. Okay, so practice happiness. Practice happiness because as His Holiness, the Dalai Lama says, the purpose of life is to be happy. We had this one before, but anyway, it came out again. So in, in uh, what I'm getting is, even in the moments of you noticing things that are taking place and that's things that are going on around you, allow it to not spoil your spirit. Try and allow yourself to stay in a happy place. You know, if that means you have to listen to music, if that means you have to find things that make you happy, you know, tap into those type of things, uh, whatever it is that you may need to do. Because I also told you guys before that even some people who were trying to meditate, they were being distracted by so many things. There's so many things that's just really testing you right now. So it's just a matter of God is just want to see if you're going to be faithful and still, you know, in the process of all these distractions. But anyway, um, what else? So yeah, just take it as like an initiation right now. Uh, just with everything going on and just, you know, again, God is just, just testing you. Are you going to keep the faith? So anyway, diligence. Today I will do my work honestly. Doing it honestly. Um, I know I used to always, I had this poster that I had when I was doing childcare in my home. I had like the different various posters, you know, around for the kids to see them, to read them or whatever. And basically one of the posters had said, um, it was for the kids. It was basically say, um, in so many words, I think it was, was it have integrity, have integrity and do It was about having integrity and do what you in oh, so many words do what you're supposed to do even when nobody's watching you because just knowing that even though they can't see what you're doing and let's just say if somebody's trying to be sneaky and deceitful about it even though nobody may see you doing that you know God still sees it so it's a matter of there's a scripture in the Bible that talks about work as if you're working unto God and this is just not pertaining to work it's just in your everyday life work treating people you know how you uh deal with people whatever the case may be it doesn't matter just do it with some sort of integrity in other words even if god was right here in front of you and you was to be on your p's and q's crossing t's and dotting i's and even though i'm not gonna say that god isn't around because god is in each and every one of us so just imagine if his physical presence was right here on earth and we and he was standing in front of us. We'd be like, oh my God, we like cross all T's and dot all I's. But, and then let's just say if God say, okay, I'll be right back. And then all of a sudden you doing things behind God's back and you wouldn't normally do it if he was standing there. So that's what I mean by that. You know, just do what you're supposed to do as if, even if nobody is watching you, in other words. 
you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> anyway, so this last one, and I think this one definitely resonates with the um, prophetic message. It says, get spiritually fit. That's so important. We all want to have clarity, inner strength, and a sense of purpose in our lives. But like physical fitness, it can take effect in ongoing commitments. Getting spiritually fit means living authentically, as we just talked about, being true to yourself in everything you do, in work relationships, we just said that, and leisure time, and making life choices from a place of courage, love, trust, instead of from fear, which is really what's living I'm sorry, which is really what living the Reiki way is all about. So keep that in mind, guys, if that was um, very helpful. But I'm actually going to just let one more card come out because, like I said, those cards actually came out when I was um, shuffling earlier and Divine Spirit Light was it. Share that. So I was going to share that. And I had to put them to the side because I didn't want them to. Because I didn't want to lose the message. This says, can we try? Sometimes it's tough to try to understand someone else's motivations. If he or she does or if he or she does or says something that hurts us or hurts those we love, but we can try it just for today. Let me read that again. So sometimes it's tough to try to understand someone else's motivations. If he or she does or say something that hurts us or hurts those we love but we can try it just for today so each and every day each and every day you guys you should always be in a habit of trying to do better than you did the next day i'm not telling you to i'm not telling you what to do but each and every day should just be about working waking up to do better than you did the day before you know nothing happens overnight um you just try each day. That's all that matters. Without having any shame or having any guilt about whatever decisions you might have made the day before. You know, just say that you tried the day before. You did your very best. And now today is a brand new day and I'm going to try it again. And if I don't get it right today, I'm going to try it again another day until I do get it right. But just know what I'm hearing is just know that when you set your mindset on trying to be thinking positive, being positive and speaking positive... The more you keep saying that to yourself, the more you keep doing it, it picks up momentum. And then next thing you know, you start to see things changing in your life or changing with you for the better. So in other words, if you want things to change, you have to change your mindset because it first starts with your mind. If it starts with your mind, your mind thinks it and then it puts it into thought and then thoughts becomes what? Actions. We tend to act on what it is that we're thinking of. So that's why it's so important that we have to be careful of what we're thinking about because we can manifest those things into our life and sometimes it could be about manifesting things that we don't want into our life or repeated um patterns or cycles because we're still thinking of the old way um because our mind is still thinking of the old way rather than the new way so keep it positive um think positive be positive and speak positive you have to speak positive to yourself this journey is about speaking to yourself constantly it don't matter what somebody else may think 